Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to communicate what you feel with men. Uh, but before we talk about that, if you're struggling to attract the right man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at CommitmentConnection.com and take my quiz. So today's question comes from a woman in our community who is asking how and when to communicate what I feel and how to deal with it and move forward if I don't get the response that I want. So contrary to popular belief, men actually enjoy when women talk about how they feel. What men don't enjoy, though, and what the biggest mistake that women tend to make around this whole kind of subject is that they kind of put an expectation on a man. And expectations um, destroy relationships. So if you're trying to get a response from a man, if you tell him how you feel and you want some kind of response, you're just setting yourself up for failure. You can talk about how you feel when you just talk about how you feel and expect no response whatsoever. And guys, a lot of times will feel, I mean, they they can eat that kind of stuff up, you know, because it helps them get into their emotions. You know, when it's not about making him wrong, it's not about blaming him, it's not about getting him to be different than how he is. And it's just about communicating how you feel and just, you know, not <clears throat> putting any uh, kind of, uh, you know, external things on it. If you're just talking, you know, if you say, hey, you know, I feel, you know, I feel really sad you know, and this is what's going on with me and I feel really sad, you know, that's, uh, that can be, you know, adorable um, and or uh, bring you closer together with him and make him feel like he wants to help you and be around you and, um, you know, uh, be your hero. Whereas if you try to get him to act a certain way or get him to respond in a certain way, it can throw him off and make him feel like, um, uh, uh, you know, make make him feel like uh, he's, he's not good enough for you and, and all kinds of other things. So if you just communicate how you feel, just communicate how you feel, that can be incredibly attractive and you can do it pretty much anytime you want to. Um, don't do it with the expectation of getting a response because that's what destroys things. Expe expectations destroy relationships. Remember that because it's incredibly important. Um, so that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more about what's stopping you from attracting Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.